As many of you might have watched or read recently, I've spent much of my time during this NFL lockout tracking down Dolphins players as they continue to stay in shape despite not being allowed to train over at the team's Davy facility. But now I'm no longer only focusing my sights on local LA fitness gyms. Now I'm stuck watching to see what happens inside federal courtrooms too. And although it's not nearly as much fun, you should be paying attention as well. I'm Jeff Darlington with the Miami Herald, and I'm here to give you a quick update on the latest regarding the NFL's labor situation. A month after this lame lockout began, we've now reached the point when a federal judge in Minnesota is listening to a court case filed by the NFL's Players Association. That judge, Susan Nelson, must decide whether this lockout is even legal in the first place, or if the NFL owners are using their monopoly power to cause financial harm to the league's players. Now, in the wake of Wednesday's hearing, early indications out of Minnesota suggest things are looking pretty good for the players right now. Nelson, who was appointed to her seat by Barack Obama, has often sided against the bigger corporations in similar antitrust lawsuits. More importantly, though, than the party affiliation might simply be the fact that the players seem to just have a better case. So what does this all mean to the future of football? I'll break it down as simple as possible. If Judge Nelson decides in favor of the players, ruling against the legality of a lockout, it is likely to force both sides back to the negotiating table to figure out a way to split this huge revenue pie worth $9 billion. You're still talking about several months of appeals and negotiations, but that's still the best case scenario if you want football in 2011. Now, if Nelson sides in favor of the owners though, the NFL will be able to bleed the players out for a very long time making them more willing to eventually cave so they can get paid. That scenario wouldn't be good, and it could even cause a delay to the start of next football season. So sit back, guys, and if you can stand to do so without your eyes glazing over, pay attention to everything that happens within this current lawsuit. Everyone from the players to the owners to the writers, stadium concession workers, and the fans will be impacted by the decisions being made right now. Judge Nelson is expected to rule on the current case being heard by sometime next week, possibly even two weeks. That's when we'll have a much better idea about whether to expect to be back watching football when September rolls around. With the Miami Herald, I'm Jeff Darlington.